Before we begin, just a quick note that the watch you're about to see was incorrectly identified as the M1. The Zoitop model number is the JM01. Want to see it? Ah, hey, where is it? Mrs. Tex, have you got the JM01? I'm not done with it yet. Oh my gosh, greetings and welcome to Smartwatch Tex. Today, mm, today, mm, we are going to open the M1 and show you something. Wow, I think if this is what it looks like it might be, we have all been waiting for for quite a while in many different ways. Let's take a look. This is going to be kind of straightforward and boring. You've seen this before. Regular display, regular processor, little bit of ROM, little bit of RAM, little bit of camera, and on and on. Oh, but notice in bold down here, first of all, that it's waterproof. IP68, 30 meter diving waterproof. But there's more. <clears throat> I know, you want me to open the box, and I promise that I will, after I tell you this comes from Zoitop. And yours truly, uh, Zoitop and I have been working together to try to get this watch to you with them being the front end in China and me being back here trying to help guide them to work with the manufacturer who has tried a couple of times to get this out with all of the possible features and now finally has. This is an unboxing and an overview and I'm going to really whet your appetite and mine. And then we're going to come back, I hope, and do a full review of all the things it can do, because it's amazing. It can do all of this kind of stuff. It's a full-on fitness thing, too. It's got all of the, the stuff for doing countdowns and, and running your measurements. And if that looks familiar to you, the display from the uh, Amaze Fit, uh, yeah. Uh, wow, wow. And it's got... Uh, this thing going on, multi-mode step, gravity sensor, check out the Chinese English, into any kind of movement mode, GPS tracking your trajectory and generate a map. Mm -hmm. Automatically open the heart rate to detect your heartbeat and generate a curve record. Professional and detailed sport data allows you to better manage their own healthy life and it's got, yeah, a PixArt 8001 heart rate sensor, so forth, that will automatically kick in, apparently, and start tracking your heart rate as soon as it detects movement. And it's got a movement sensor in there, along with the geomagnetic sensors for the compass. It's, let's look at it. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I am so excited about this. So are they. They've been tracking this all the way here. And now it's arrived. And now it's arrived in a can. Smartwatch. Oh, opening chocolates, I tell you. There it is. There it is. It's literally straight from the manufacturer, right through Zoitop to us to take a look at in solid black. This is the black one. There's, there's the camera on here. There's the button to turn it on. Uh, there's a SIM. It says SIM right there. There's the charging dock, the heart rate monitor. Oh, and look at this. Did I mention? No, I didn't, because you didn't see it in the literature. Removable bands. Did I mention? Android watch. Have you ever heard me say those two things in the same sentence? I don't think so. Oh, let's try and turn it on. I have no idea if it's got power. I am so excited. Microware. While it's coming up, let's look in the can. And they've tossed in a charging wire. It's like a prototype, folks. Um, there's... Ooh. Wow. Okay. There, there's no manual. There's no... Uh... There's a loose tie thing that they forgot to put around the charging dock. How, how, oh, I want you to see the screen. We haven't ever seen this one boot up before. Whole new thing. I don't know if this is even a Sinware based uh, or a fun, fun to 
thing or or why where or whatever it's uh well it's taking a while it might be its first uh, first boot after firmware update which usually takes extra long so we'll take a moment and ah it goes opposite oh there it just flashed at us look at that good solid connection well i can shake it loose but it uh standardized contacts it looks like standardized connector you can get these all over now for just about every phone wow you see that little slot there i'm not sure but that's typically what is there when you have a mag a, a wireless uh charger thing it, it, it connects into that for guiding um smart wearable device brings you health moving track and we're up we are up. We've got the notifications page. Clear. Okay. Not going anywhere. Oh, okay. That way went back. There's a, a first watch face. Let's see. If I go down, it shows a battery percentage. Nice, big, readable, easy. Um, that looks like it's for SIM card. That's a double arrow, which usually means data from cellular. And that looks like uh, an X over Wi-Fi. There's three dots, so that means we go... Honestly, the first time I've seen this, guys, uh, it's Fun OS, and it's got these things, an SOS, airplane mode, settings, and that chain thing looks like it might tether to the smartwatch. Not sure. This side, we have more things. Okay. Come down here. Go to the left. Whoop. Okay, looks like we go up and we get to the notifications. Or did that come that way? Wow, it's going different ways. I'm going to try to swipe that way. Oh, this is the layout that we've seen in the, um, the I can't even talk. I'm so excited. The uh, Amaze Fit, right? Thing, the Amaze Fit Pace. That's how it's laid out in the Amaze Fit Pace. And look at the pictures changing in the background. All these different modes for sports. Wow. Okay, we go this way. We get into our overall apps, which right now are laid out in a circle. There's the Google Play Store. It's a full Android watch. Look at this. I can bend them all I want to. I'm not going to break it. And anything more? Okay. One. Nope, that's it. Okay. So we go from the time to the watch display. And this side, we go to the fitness stuff. This way, we get to these three different pages. And this way, whoa, look at all the dots down here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I love my job. I really, really love my job. This is a compass and an accurate one. Compare with some of the other watches that have had a compass in there. Now, True North is pointing right at me, and it's keeping up. Oh my gosh, this is this is a good compass. Oh, it looped all the way around. Okay, I haven't put it on the internet. It's not on GPS or anything. Well, you saw, we just took it out of the can. So um, it's got to calculate all this stuff. So the compass is the first thought. Then it goes into data related to, I guess, your walking, running, your sport event. Um, you see these different little arrows and things. That looks like those are tracking, um, and it'll give you a visual of your steps, your calories burned, your kilometers walked. There's the heart rate thing. Test after three seconds. It's turned on. That's a whole different... Oh, I think I heard a beep. It's a whole different look for the uh, heart rate testing. Nice big number, easy to read. Current heart rate, it says. 64 is probably right, but I feel like it should be 110. I'm so excited right now. Off of that, and it goes off, and we're into um, bad network, but this is where you'd get your barometric pressure. We've seen this on the uh, recently on the D7, I believe, if you remember, from number one, and then the altitude. And then we're back to the compass. So you got all this stuff in this layer, which is down from this layer, and, and we get into the fitness. So before we go into any of the actual events that you could put, we'll go down here. Look at that, a full marathon, a half marathon. 
Where's the tenth marathon? <laughs> wow. Okay. Sports history, and then there's your sports settings. Okay, we're gonna go in here. This is really fun. This is new. Um, kilometers reminder. So you could have it remind you. I'm guessing now you're right along with me, but this makes common sense. You could have it remind you when you've completed each kilometer. You can have it uh, remind you about heart rate or target time. If you want to go for a half an hour, set all that. Or distance. Do you want to go for three miles or kilometers? I'm not sure we can change it to the British yet. A pace reminder. Wow. Wow. It can remind you if you're not keeping up your pace. Wow. A uh, sports reminder? No idea. And background set. Right now it's for colorful, which I guess is all of the, uh, the pictures. Or you can go black and white, high contrast for when you're outside. Yeah, I know. You want to see what that looks like. Okay, let's take it back. And there you go. See, it's just black and white, but it brings all of these things brighter and took away the color of the background uh, stuff. But I like the color, so I'm going to bring it back to colorful. And I want to go back up here to Heart Remind and go into that. And it looks like, I'm guessing, that you could set your heart rate of what you want to be reminded of or have it beep that if your heart rate exceeds that threshold over 111 BPM, it would notify you. So at least in terms of staying within a zone, it will help you stay on the aerobic side of uh, your running, walking, jogging, whatever, uh, at least keep you below some upper threshold that you set. That would be an intermediate beeping, while these other things, whatever one you set, would be... Um, your main one, like if you want to go for a half an hour, an hour, and you set your target time, right? And I think you can have multiple ones set. Yeah, there you go. Set it for 59, 58. And there, um, in 59 minutes, 58 seconds after you start running, it'll go three, two, one, and start. Remember? No, you don't. You haven't seen that. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm going back to the uh, Amaze Fit pace because that's how it works. Uh, so let's go over there. Okay, so this is all of the settings. We've got a heart rate set and a, a target time set on this one. Um, then we would go up and pick something like, what do you want? I don't want to do any of these funny ones. Uh, let's just do walking for the, the first one to begin with. Okay, please turn on GPS. Okay. We got to go in and set that whole thing up. Now, this is the Google stuff, so we switched over to Android now and we agree on this. Man, this is like an Amaze Fit pace in an Android. This is so cool. Turn it on, yes. Waiting for GPS, and uh, it may or may not get it here in the house. Um, it's not in the bands, we know that. Uh, search, pass. All right. Anyway, there you go. Three, two, one. It's starting the heart rate sensor, and it would now begin accumulating your data. Look at the review of the Amaze Fit and see if it doesn't look awfully similar to this. I've got a timeout happening. I got to get into the overall settings, and this, but much prettier here. Adherence is a quality. The campaign data will be saved into the history. Okay, I mean, first look, we're just we're just playing with this thing right now. How do we get out of here? Stop motion. I'm going to exit and not save that. Oh, uh, too little data. The exercise will not be saved. Okay, so it's just going to bail out of it. But any of these things that are uh, programmed into it, mountain climb. I remember this in the Amaze Fit one. When you went into here, and we got to turn on GPS. I haven't set it all up manually in the other side, I guess, and search and, and pass, and we'll let it get started. But in the, the mountain climbing, you also get altitude in here too. Vertical speed, see that? You have heart rate, step frequency, energy. That's probably your calories burned. Oh, I don't know. There's energy here as well. Mountaineering, uh, right side to pause, left side continues. Oh, when you go over here, it pauses it. Oh, okay. Learning all the way along. Anyway, um, we got to come over here and stop it. So 
there are one uh, exercises like mountaineering that is actually going to work with your altitude. And perhaps we're going to see the graph in here as well. Who knows? Who knows? Um, let's go into the apps. Let's... Whoa, that looks like an Apple. That looks like an Android. I bet this is the tethering thing. Oh, remote control and remote camera. And that's your connection for Bluetooth. And with an Apple there, my guess is that's for Apple. And for Android, you have a little bit more. You have remote music as well as uh, phone. Find your phone. Okay. Uh, lock your phone. That's a new feature we're starting to see on these where you can actually set it up. Press that button and lock your phone. And what's that? Remote camera from your tethered phone. There's your connection from Bluetooth. And FunFit, that's the app that we're going to use. We've seen FunFit used a lot in other apps, uh, in other watches. So you're probably familiar somewhat with that. That's the tethering app here. And what we just saw also looks somewhat familiar in terms of the things that you can do, the capabilities. So we've got a microphone. we got other things. That looks like the Google Maps or, or GPS location information. And you got to sign in with Google and get it all set up. We will do that when we do a full review of this thing. I guess when you tap it, it goes into notifications. Okay, that's that. This is what? More in Chinese. Is, that looks like WeChat or something, doesn't it? That little symbol. Okay, not sure where we're going there. Yeah. Oh, nice looking keyboard. Okay, I don't see a microphone, though. That's unfortunate. No mic input. But it is set up for English right now. Okay, uh, but we don't know what we're doing, and I don't know that that's even functional here. There I go, doing the wrong thing again. Slide over. So those are the things on this page, and that was the last page, I guess. No, you go up and down. Goodness. Okay, we're at the bottom. Here's another one. Looks like heart rate. You see them on there. Another one. We'll look at these more. There's settings. I think Android settings. Yeah, this looks a lot like uh, the D7 that we we looked at, and the the, the recent one we just uh, we just put up. I don't even remember the numbers. There's too many of them. But this is where you do the uh, Wi-Fi connection, GPS, and Bluetooth. Yeah, this is very similar uh, interface to what we've seen. Display, that's what I wanted. Yeah, give me a little more than 15 seconds here. I can go up to 30 minutes. Excellent. If you got a good battery charge, you're going to go running for an hour or so. You set it for 30 minutes. You want it always on, collecting data, running GPS, but you're going to charge it when you get done. Great. You can do that and have an always on display for half an hour. All you got to do is touch it sometime during that half hour and it resets it. Okay. Uh, uninstall security reset about the watch. Let's do that at least today. Your overall storage space, two gigabytes, and that's taken up. And your internal storage is 1.27 from the gross, leaving you a little over one gigabyte for apps. That's not a lot, I admit. That's going to be pretty lean. So you're only going to have your most important apps on this watch, perhaps the ones that are related to fitness. And um, that's what you'll work with. It's the H1. Is that what we call this thing? Well, they're calling it the M1, but it's officially called the H1 on the watch. And kernel date is Saturday, May the 20th. Hey, this is June 1st, folks, so it's just come out. And your build number is H1. <laughs> wow, wow. I want to get this video out right away, uh, so I am going to forego going through all of the rest of this, and uh, we will do a more in-depth review. In the meantime, I definitely wanted you to see it so you can start getting in line, because there's nothing like this on the market yet, and uh, I'm really proud of these guys. We've really been back and forth with emails for about two months now. They visited the factory at least two or maybe three times. They had some challenges with the waterproofing that had to go back and be retrofitted. Oh, by the way, 
It's an Android watch that's waterproof. That means you can swim with it. I mean, really, uh, we're going to find out. I'm going to dunk it in water for you after I play with it, just in case it doesn't work. You know, I always wonder. Um, but it's like the, the Z-Blaze Blitz has always been the only other Android watch that was fully waterproof. And this thing is supposed to be, although I'm a little concerned about that one being uh, totally sealed in there for the SIM card space, but it's claimed to be fully waterproof. We're going to test that out. And it does fitness like nobody else. It's got all the stuff like the Amaze Fit uh, Pace built into it. But it's a full Android watch. Very, very cool. All right. Thanks for watching. I hope you've subscribed. By now, you should definitely, if you're interested in this stuff, you should definitely be a subscriber. And you might want to get mom and dad to subscribe too so they could buy this thing for you. Check out the price. Even at that price, compared to what you're looking at at a pure fitness watch like the Amazfit Pace and a separate Android watch that would do everything this can do, I think that's overall, that's looking really good. It's looking really good. Okay. Oh, yes, sir. I'm so sorry. Watch faces. You wanted to see them. All right. Let's look. At, wow, I'm running through them quickly. For those of you who want to just bail out, I'm going to go quickly through them and then I'll come back in and I'll do them one by one for those that want to watch longer. But we've seen a lot of these before, haven't we? Yes, indeed. They look like the basic stock watch faces that have come with the uh, Finau and number one type watches, I believe. That's a little different. Let's look at that. That's colorful. Ah, okay. It's showing, I guess, percent of battery. It's showing the date, the time, in a nice blue. Oh, by the way, have you been noticing? Let's go to a nice white one. Have you been noticing that it's like pretty much edge to edge too? There's a bezel right there. It's got some writing on it. It says SIM card, camera, power, little button things. Some screws on the outside. Much more uh, visible if you get the silver or gold bezeled one. But if you get the all black, and look at this band. Mm, that's a beefy band. But look, look, they go all the way up. No matter how small your arm, your finger is, you could put it on it. It's a nice rubberized band. And did I mention? It's removable. At least it's supposed to be. Looks like I need a special hex kind of a screw to take it off, but you betcha I'm going to try taking that off too. We are going to put this puppy through its paces. Wow. Yep, haven't seen that watch face before. Okay, some more new ones. And that's it. Will it take custom faces? I have no idea. Really, but we'll check it out. <sighs> Thank you for watching Smartwatch Ticks, and I hope you're enjoying this as much as I am. We have something that's really new here. Really, really new. Last shout out to Zoytop for jumping in there, taking the initiative, going and getting this watch. They didn't have it. They didn't even know about it. We kind of found it together. They negotiated. They brought it in so we can bring it to you. All right. We will see you real soon. Now. For you diehards who really want to see all the watch faces, here you go. Of course, um, you guys know me. I can't just be quiet and not like talk through all of this stuff, right? You know, maybe we should change that brightness a little bit. Let's go over here to settings, to display, brightness, and shove it down to like, really though, okay, how low does it go? Like that. I know, we haven't done all of the settings yet. We'll do that later. Sleep 30 minutes. Okay, let's come back here to the watch faces. Much better. You can kind of see the birds flying now. Okay. Uh, really nice black and white on this black watch. Good contrast. Obviously, you can bring the brightness up really high if you uh, need to or want to. Another black and white watch face. Now we're bringing in a little bit of color. We have date and time. Okay. 
Another one. All right, here's one we've seen before, and we've used that to so show you the fine details, if I can get the camera to focus, of a 400 by 400 pixel screen. Looks nice, doesn't it? All the, the little details there. I am hopeful that this will indeed work with uh, custom watch faces. That would be really, really nice. Well, we'll find out. It just uh, it amazes me that we have that interface that we've seen on the AmazeFit Pace. That I haven't seen anywhere else other than the Chinese version of the AmazeFit. Oh, I wonder if this does multiple languages and it can switch to those languages for those displays. If so, anybody that's interested in the AmazeFit Pace that's been locked out because the only uh, languages available were Chinese and English. If it does do that, then you've got a, you got yourself a really nice fitness watch that um, speaks your language. Remind me, I hope, that to cover the languages in the... Uh, you know what? What the heck? Some of you are still watching, right? Let's go over here to settings. Let's go down to language. Let's choose a language like, okay, I've got to see where English is. It's down here where it's got the parentheses about the fifth one down, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eighth one down. Let's go to Indonesia. And let's come back. Oh, come here. And let's go over to the side. No, that's in English. All right, let's make a harder language. Da, 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 da. Oh, no. <laughs> Uninstall applications. Which one's language? Do, do, do. That looks like it's got the A's and stuff like that. There you go. I want to pick up something like that. Yeah. Now. Let's check it out. No, it looks like it's still in English, doesn't it? Okay. Okay, so, and when we go into the settings, the settings here are all in English. All right, we've learned that the um, watch is going to operate in English as far as all of the fitness stuff goes. And when we're in the actual settings here... Some of them are English, and some of them have changed. And the one that has the AA is the language. And we're going to switch it back to English. Okay. Okay, just wanted to do that. So we know now that it supports multiple languages, but the fitness is going to all be in English. See, those who didn't stick around to watch the watch faces missed all that. And then if they ask me a question, I'll have to refer them back here to the video. <laughs> all right, black with a light blue watch hands. Okay. Oh, the second hand is going around. We've seen a lot of these before. Yeah. Nice, simple. That one looks nice with this watch. I think. You know, everybody's got their opinions. Here we go. The sun is up and it's showing all of that. The time's totally wrong for where I am, but I'm not on Wi-Fi yet. Will be shortly. Definitely going to play with this one. Very light blue background there. If I had that display brightness, I'd slide my finger up and brighten it a little bit to show you. But as you saw, I got to dive deep into settings to get to the brightness level. And that's, yeah, I don't want to waste your time with that. We do have a, a good selection of watch faces, although they all are pretty much basic and old. Uh, old compared to what's out there with the custom watch faces these days. There we go. Okay. I'm so amazed by this. This 
if this has got removable bands, and it really looks like it does, um, it actually it says in the in the go to go go and check out the link down below. Okay, we'll we'll have definitely have the link to the uh, Zoitop website on this one. That's pretty nice in blue. And uh, scroll through the uh, corporate literature on this one, and you'll see down toward the bottom it talks about removable bands and shows a couple of different designs. So I'm not making this up, you know. It's like, wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. An Android watch with removable bands. Obviously, if it tethers to your phone using... Um, the standard apps, it's not going to be able to do tethered phone calls. Uh, we still have been waiting for that to come with an Android watch to do the, the actual phone calling. We've had to use a SIM card up until now. Well, that's something I'll definitely have to explore. Wow, we're only down, we're down to 24%. We looked at this one, right? Okay. I feel bad not giving you guys a more thorough review, but I will indeed uh, go into much more detail. I want to get this set up and see if we can put some custom faces on it, drop in some apps. Um, wow, that's really bizarre. Okay. Also, just to mention while we're going through here, I got a bunch of more watches that have already shown up and are on their way in that are brand new things, um, company releases that you haven't seen before. So we're going to have, there you go, that's the last one. We're going to have a lot of a lot of new watches to check out. But so far, as far as Android watches go, this baby is in a class of its own already, and it integrates with that Amaze Fit pace. Really cool. Thank you, Mrs. Tix. I'll get it back to you soon. I just wanted everybody to have a chance to see what it looks like without the bands. Remember, it's the Zoetop JM01. <laughs> and here it is. Wow. Android. No bands. I love it. <laughs>